Hey, what's up, homie? Potato, homie. Hey, this video is going to be a good one. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. I'm going to show you how to save money on a dino tune. So stay tuned right after this intro drop. Don't feel bad when I'm down, I'm going to be okay. This way going to come right back and run us back to BOA. Only the members don't come run us down the road. This one is for all you car guys, you tuners that's trying to go fast. So this video, I'm going to show you how to save a little bit of change, man. Back in the day, we used to put parts on cars and just send it. We didn't take them out to get dyno tune. I don't, I didn't know nothing about a dyno tune. But now, we're talking like 20 years later, a dyno tune is ideal, man. If you want to get the, the most out of your engine or the setup and all the parts you put on your car, you have to go get a dyno tune. So now I take my car to get dyno tune, but over time, I notice the things that a tuner will uh, touch and the things that he won't touch or she, you know, whoever's tuning your car, depending on the horsepower you're trying to reach. So I'm going to try to save you some money by not buying parts that's unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? So um, everything has a threshold. Everything gets rated. Whatever horsepower number you're trying to reach, there are certain parts you don't have to buy in order to reach that uh, horsepower level. So if you a person that like to eat, remember, your knees has a rating. It has a threshold. If you eat too much, you blow your knees out. <laughs> or if you're a crackhead and you like to smoke crack, pay attention to how much crack you're smoking or that might be the last hit you take. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, so when you go for a dyno tune in your mind, you already know dyno tunes ain't cheap, okay? So if you tell a non car guy how much you pay for a dyno tune, he'll probably be like, That nigga crazy. So you want to get the most out of your engine that you can for the amount of money that you're spending for a dyno tune. So you're like, I'm going to go buy some parts. I'm going to go get me a fuel rail. I'm going to get some cam gears. I'm going to get a, a, a adjustable fuel pressure regulator. I'm going to put some big injectors in it. All that kind of stuff. You're spending money. So I'm going to show you what will help and won't, what won't help depending on the horsepower that you're trying to get. So once again, my specimen is going to be my Integra. I'm always doing videos with the Integra because that's the one I damn near put all the damn money on, man. <laughs> Put too much money in the deal, car. Shut up, bitch. I right, it's a bit of a mess over here. I got these lion hearts, man. When I had these on, I feel like I'm the king of the highway. The bullshit. All right, so I got the hood and everything open, and we're gonna start on the cam gears, okay? So, besides the cam gear, this engine has parts on it parts that you can change and put aftermarket stuff, and then you have stock stuff. This is a turbo, never mind that. I'm probably not even gonna get into all that. But uh we're gonna start off with these dang old cam gears right here. And cam gears, you can get eBay cam gears, you can get uh brand cam gears. These are VMS, they pretty decent. And as you can see, cam gears, see them numbers right there? That R if we're retarded, because I get called that a lot. <laughs> And that right there stands for advanced. That A right there, that's advanced. So you want to loosen these um, Allen bolts right here, and you can adjust the cam degree, okay? As you can see, it's centered out. That'll be uh, zeroed. It's zeroed out. That one, then same thing with that one. It's zeroed out. So cam gears is mainly for aftermarket cams that have a higher cam profile than stock. So the first time I went to get a dyno tune, I bought cam gears. It's like, yeah, I'm about to go up in this joint. He go adjust my cam gears on my stock cams. I think I had a stock B16. Yeah, it was a B16. Not in this car. I had a uh, matter of fact, it, it, it was this car and uh, it was an 18. It was my stock GSR engine. And I bought cam gears, threw them on there. It's like, yeah, that should give me an extra, you know what I'm saying, X amount of horsepower because he go get all up in here, work his magic, and give me some extra ponies. Well, guess what? On stock cams, you do not need cam gears. You can leave the stock OEM gears on here. Reason being, 
stock cams perform its best at zero degrees, zeroed out. And zeroed out is the same um, degree that the stock gear is on. So if you run a stock cams and you ain't trying to make your engine bay look pretty, you do not need these because he is not going to touch them. He or she, whoever your uh, tuner is, they are not going to touch these. So I just saved you $150, $250. You can go in there with your stock cam gears and still get the amount of horsepower that you're trying to get with stock cams, okay? Leave that alone if you're running stock cams. You do not need it. <laughs> Another thing we tend to change is a fuel pressure regulator. What's that? This AEM right here. That's the AEM fuel pressure regulator. That right there is the adjuster nut and, and screw to raise or lower the fuel pressure. This engine put out 500 horsepower. And guess what my fuel pressure is at? 43 PSI. And guess what the stock fuel pressure when you have an OEM fuel pressure regulator? 43 PSI. Come on now, dog. So your stock fuel pressure regulator can get you up to 500 horsepower. So did I really need this? No. Come on, man. Long as my stock fuel pressure regulator was working um, properly, I could have made 500 horsepower on a stock fuel pressure regulator. And this AEM one right here, if I'm not mistaken, I don't even remember. But they bought a buck fifty, two hundred dollars. So that's another buck fifty, two hundred dollars. I could uh uh spit that shit out, man. Kept in my pocket. So if you tally that up, that's about five hundred dollars, depending on what brand you want to go with. If you want to spend the, the the buck fifty or the two fifty for the cam gears, or a buck fifty or 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 two hundred for a fuel pressure regulator, we just go round it off about five hundred dollars right there. I just saved you. <laughs> Most guys when they build in Hondas, they got a stock B sixteen or. a ls v tech whether it's a b18 or b20 and they just trying to the ideal number for those is usually 200 horsepower hey if i can get that 200 i'm gonna be straight yeah boy and what's the next step fuel rails that's another thing people like to go for and again if you just trying to buy aftermarket parts to to make your engine bay look pretty then by all means go for it i ain't mad at you you know what i'm saying you pop your hood and it's like gleaming like treasure then it's all good, man. I, man, I like to look pretty too a little bit, but the fuel rail. So this is a Golden Eagle Pro Series fuel rail. You see how thick it is? What's my stock one? Uh, this is my stock one. I'm gonna leave that up there. Okay, this is the stock fuel rail right there, and you can see compared to see how thick that is and how thin that is. So this is a Golden Eagle, and I'm the type, usually these things, I'm guessing again, I'm not, I don't even remember, man. I, I don't buy too much brand new, but I'm going to just say, this Golden Eagle, what? <laughs> this Golden Eagle Pro Series fuel rail is probably going to cost you at least $200, if not more. I look for stuff used before I buy them new, and luckily, I bought this from uh, Cuda, a Cuda built. Um, you can look him up on uh, Instagram. He had it on offer up for a hundred bucks. Reason I went that route because I'm turbo and I was trying to get as much as horsepower as I can. If you're not turbo, and again, you got a stock LSV tech or a stock B16 GSR, whatever the case may be, do you really need a aftermarket $200 fuel reel? Let me think. No. This fuel rail right here is the stock GSR fuel rail. It's probably the same for a LS or uh LSV Tech, it'll work for any of them. I made 390 horsepower, almost 400 horsepower with a stock fuel rail. It was no surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so save your money. If you got a stock engine and you just trying to get that 200 horsepower, this fuel rail will get you there with no problem. Like That's I said, right. made 390, but we backed it down to 376. So still, if you round it off, that's 400 horsepower on a stock fuel rail. So, I just saved you another $200. We up to like $700 right now. If we round it off, cam gears, fuel rail, fuel pressure regulator. Man, 
those things you really don't have to touch unless you're going for big, big numbers. You know what I'm saying? So another thing guys like to change injectors. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put these big, big, bigger injectors. I'm going to put some 500s in there. Maybe get some MDX injectors, like 420s or something. Throw them up in there. Try to get the most horsepower I can get out of my stock engine. No! No! Do you really need to upgrade your stock injectors to make 200 horsepower? Definitely not. Now, I remember back in the day, we used to go to pick a park and, and hold people up at gunpoint. What the? <laughs> to get some uh, Integra injectors. Because we were running Civics for single cams, right? So we thinking like, hey, look, you know, we get bigger injectors and inject more fuel into the engine. We can go faster. Not even knowing, because we didn't do no research, you know what I'm saying? When it came to Google and all that internet stuff back then, it didn't exist. We thinking, I, right, you know, uh, Integra, the twin cam engine, they take more fuel than a single cam engine. So we go get the injectors out of a, a twin cam engine. Not knowing, single cam injectors the 240cc. And a twin cam engine is 240cc. So we did all that for nothing. That's stupid! The injectors that we were going to get out of Piggy Park was the exact same ones that we already had. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know y'all laughing at me, but this is a true story. You just stop laughing at me, bruh. This ain't funny. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you don't need uh bigger injectors to run you know 200 horsepower or you know maybe even a little more than 200 horsepower but those stock 240 cc injectors that do just fine so those are the main things that people like to change that you really don't have to cam gears fuel pressure regulator fuel rail and injectors y'all can leave all that alone man what you want to do is simple bolt on make the engine breathe better if you want to change your exhaust manifold that'll get you some ponies in the dyno if you want to change your your intake take it to a cold air or get you a good decent short ramp that won't get heat soaked that'll help you out in the dyno because you're breathing if you want to get you an aftermarket exhaust that's free flowing where the air could get out quicker do it that'll help you out in the dyno but the things that i just pointed out to you those will not help you out in the dyno unless you're looking for big horsepower. Now stay tuned. We'll be right back after this commercial. <laughs> Almost forgot one. Throttle body. Now a throttle body can help you out. You know, just don't go too big. I think the stock throttle body size is probably like 60 millimeters or something like that i could be wrong i'm not 100 percent sure but if you want to put a uh a little bigger uh throttle body on there that can help out because once again you're breathing better with a gas combustion engine in order to go fast just keep in mind man the quicker you get that air in and out the faster you go go so you really just want to change the parts to help the engine breathe the fuel pump and the fuel pressure regulator and the injectors, they, they, they're they good enough already to compensate. Because the more air you put in, you got to add fuel. So to get 200 horsepower, or, you know, in the low twos, this stuff is already capable of, of achieving that horsepower for you. So you just want to uh, change the parts to help it breathe. It's like yourself. An engine is similar to the human body. If I was to race you, and you pinch your nose closed or or you hold your hand over your mouth and I'll be like, hey, let's race. But you got to hold your hand over your mouth or you got to pinch your nose closed and hold your hand over your mouth. How fast can you run? You can't run fast if you can't breathe. Right. Same thing with an engine. If the engine ain't breathing right, it ain't going to run fast. So you want to change the parts to help it breathe first and then go on to, to, to the next step might be fuel and all that kind of stuff. So. Air is the most important thing on a combustion engine. That's why when people go faster in combustion engine, force induction. Force induction, all it's doing is forcing more air in the engine and getting it out quicker so you can go faster. But I'm not going to get into all that on this video. I'm going to talk about force induction on the next video.
So I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. I saved y'all minimal $500. I think I calculated at least $700 on a dino tune that you could keep in your pocket and uh, take both of your girlfriends out on a date, but not at the same time. Use your common sense. That's five seven hundred dollars in your pocket, and you. I don't know how your car look, but hey, five seven hundred dollars, you can get a decent pair of wheels for that much. Now, you probably ain't gonna get no tires with them. All right, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know I was stuttering and stuff. Y'all make me nervous sometimes. I can't even talk right. But um, again, I saved y'all at least five seven hundred dollars. Y'all can thank me later. All you gotta do, hit that like button, subscribe. That's all the thanks I need. I appreciate y'all. Keep tuning in and uh, checking me out, man, because I'll be trying. Lord knows I'll be trying, man. Be out here sweating in the garage making videos for y'all. Catch me in the next one. Kadoo Whoop is always doing something. Only the members don't come run if you was not one. We go back like Tom Brady on a shotgun. You always